Hi guys, Luna here, and welcome back to another Skyrim console mod video, where we go over some of the newest mods for Skyrim Special Edition, 4 for PS4 and 4 for Xbox One. Straight after this video, I have a quick update video on my plans for the upcoming year, so check that out if you're interested as well. Well, we have 8 mods to look through, so let's not waste any time and just jump straight to our first mod of the day. Our first mod of the day is the Wizard Laboratory. The house is located north of Deepfoot Crossing, and the marker is visible on your map for you. To get it, simply walk over to the rope hanging under the balcony. In terms of features, the house has a small and cosy Dwemer ruin to call home. All crafting benches, all smithing benches, apart from a smelter, are in the miniature workshop, which is the small mushroom house, and it has lots of alchemy ingredients and a short series of notes about the previous Telvanni owner. A beautiful view from the balcony is also available. So if you're looking for a cool wizard home, then you can download this one right now. Our second mod is the Witcher 3 Bear Armor. This armor is the bear armor from The Witcher 3. The mod comes with a full set of male only armor, according to the mod anyway, although I do have it equipped on my female character, so I'm not sure if that was just added at a later point. The armor can easily be crafted at the forge and equipped, and it includes the armor, boots, and gauntlets. In terms of damage resistance, well, like many other custom armor mods, they are slightly better than the best vanilla light armor in the game, the dragon scale armor. And like always, you can refine and enchant them, no problem, to make them even stronger. So if you guys love The Witcher 3, and I assume most of you do, then download and try out the bear armor for yourself. Our next mod is called Lucifer Ricken or something along those lines, I can't really say it, I'm just going to call it Lucifer anyway. And this mod adds to the game a new race to play, which we will take a look at, along with a starter chest to Helgen. The mod also adds the ability to increase your jump height and running speed in game. Running speed has been increased slightly to make it feel better, and jump height has increased by 4, making jump fun, but not too crazy that you die from falling when jumping in game. And the reason it has added these is that the new race you are playing is really small, and so it kind of makes the jump height and the running speed just pretty similar to what you are as a regular race. However, these speeds and jump height change for regular races, making you run really fast and jump really high. So that's a cool thing as well. The race that you get is a Dremora race, a very very small Dremora race. You come with three new powers called Dremora Chill, which fires a ball of cam at the enemy, Fireball, which does exactly what it says, shoots a fireball, and Ghost, which makes you invisible for 10 minutes. Your main skills are Destruction, Restoration, Block, One-Handed, Archery, and Enchanting, so not the best mix of skills however. Overall, not the most exciting race mod, but a new movement speed and new jump height, along with an actual playable Dromora race, makes this a pretty decent mod to try out. Our next mod is called Perk Points Per Level. This mod gives you a spell in game that allows you to edit the amount of perk points you get per level in the game. So now if you want to play through the game regular, but just want to unlock your skill tree, say, twice as fast as regular, then you can set it to 2 perk points per level, or if you want to go through the game even faster, you can set it so you get 5 perk points per level, and so on. There are 10 slots altogether, and so you can actually really customise the perks the way you want to, to make it so, for example, you could get 1 point from levels 1 to 10, then 2 points from levels 11 to 20, and so on. Or you could make it so you get 1 point every level, and you get 2 points at level 20, 3 points at level 30, and all the way up to 10 points at level 100. The choice is really yours. So a useful mod and a fun way to determine how fast to develop your character in-game, or give yourself bonuses for reaching certain levels in your playthrough. Next up is a mod called Improved Ancient Shrouded Gloves, and this game gives you the improvement to the gloves that you receive upon joining the Dark Brotherhood or killing Astrid in the game. The gloves, however, have the same effect. This mod tweaks the Ancient Shrouded Gloves to give it triple sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons and double sneak attack damage with bows, so you should be seeing multiples as high as 45 and 6 respectively. So if you thought that being an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood was a bit too difficult or underwhelming, then this mod will definitely help you out. Our next mod is another PS4 only mod, which by the way is why I never have video for some of these PS4 mods and only images, as I only play on Xbox. The mod adds Betrid, Silver Blood of Markarth. She is a frost magic wielding necromancer who will raise all manner of dead things. In the vanilla game there are literally only one NPC who's a frost user who's glitched from the outset, but now you have a more powerful, frost based sorceress as an option for people who wanted to have another choice. You can find her in the Treasury House in Markarth. She's essential and will level with the player up to level 85. Our next mod is another armor mod called the Breton Knight Armor. 
and this armor mod is based on the armor from the Breton Knight, a cinematic movie for the Elder Scrolls Online. The armor is male, female and beast supported, and can be found at the wreck of the Pride of Talibos east of Winterhold. It might not be marked on your map if you have the map markers unlocked mod, so just travel there where I am on the map. The armor is really awesome looking and it's kind of like an assassin or a thief slash Robin Hood elf kind of character you can use with this one. Really cool, a small amount of clipping on the hood however, but that's not too big a deal for me anyway. In terms of damage resistance, it's higher than the Dragonbone heavy armor, so it's very strong for a light armor. The mod comes with two weapons as well, a sword and a bow, both of which are somewhere between elven and ebony in damage. Of course, all of them can be upgraded and enchanted if you want to. Overall, a really nice armor mod. As you probably noticed if you have been on the Bethesda website lately, that G77 has uploaded loads of summonable mount mods. I don't have to go over all of them, but some of them are really cool so we'll be adding a lot of them to videos this week. The first mod is all about big cats. This allows you to summon 19 big cat mounts, 2 lions, 3 lioness, 2 panthers, 2 leopards, 9 different tigers and a spectral saber cat, wherever you want to in the game. You can easily dismiss the mounts as well with the spell tomb that comes with the mod, and you can also find 9 companions with new sounds in 5 different stables, Whiterun, Markarth, Riften, Solitude and Windhelm. The spells can be purchased from Faranger if you want to summon new mounts to get around, and the companions are not the same as mounts, you can't ride them, so you can find them at the stables and you can recruit them. So you can have a mount that's the same as a companion if you want to, so you can have both. Next up we have Chocobo Mounts and Followers. This mod adds 5 breeds of Chocobo in 5 different colours to 5 different towns. That makes a total of 60 different Chocobo Mounts in the game to the 5 stables of Whiterun, Markarth, Riften, Solitude and Windhelm. You can also find Chocobos randomly around each of the towns as well. As well as that you get 14 different Follower Chocobos and they are also located at the 5 stables so you can recruit them and just like the same as the big cats, some can be ridden and some can be followers but you can have both if you want to. And just like the previous one you can dismiss any of the chocobos with the dismiss spell which can be purchased from Faringer along with the spell summons to get each of the chocobos as well. If that wasn't enough there are actually 369 wild chocobos added to the world of Skyrim as well so that's really awesome you can just randomly find chocobos running around. Finally we have forest mounts. This adds 23 summonable mounts, the armored gazelle, regular gazelle, veiled deer, male elk, female elk, moose, bull moose, white stag, spectral stag, Foxes, Wolves, Veil Sabercat, Skeevers, Beaver, Raccoon, Cave Lion, Eurasian Lynx, Canadian Lynx, and Cougar to whatever you want to in the game. And again, these can all be purchased from Faringer, along with the Dismiss Summon spell as well. On top of that, 14 companions have been added near the South Bridge of Iverstead. The Silver Fox, Little Fox, Arctic Grey Fox, Timberwolf, Male Deer, Female Deer, Fawn, the Male Reindeer, the Megalosaurus, Beaver, Raccoon, Eurasian Lynx, Canadian Lynx and the Cougar. So you can now get one of those as your companion along with any of them as your summonable mount as well. All of these mods add custom sounds as well for each of the different animals so that is really really awesome. And we're definitely going to be taking a look at much more of these as we go through the videos this week. Well guys there we have it, 8 brand new, well actually 10 brand new console mods for you to download and try for yourself if you like the sound of them. As always let me know your thoughts in the comments below, I always enjoy reading the comments and of course like and subscribe and I will see all of you guys next time for another Skyrim Special Edition video.